Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm going to do a quick unboxing video. Uh, I've had a few lately. Uh, just things are starting to finally come in, which is awesome, and I have some new stuff coming. Um, this package here is from Washington State, and I'm pretty sure this is the stuff that I sent to Mild Mannered EDC. Brad over there, he's a great guy, a good buddy I chat with on Instagram. Uh, definitely check out his channel. Again, that's Mild Mannered EDC. And uh, I sent him a few knives to check out. Um, I believe it was my ProTech Malibu, uh, the Blade HQ Vox Dapper, and the Asher Knives Silva. And he is sending those back to me, and he is also sending back some loaners uh, of his for me to check out. So I think he sent two packages, so I don't know which one's which, and I only got one so far. So this could either be uh, my loaners coming back, which you guys haven't seen on the channel, so I figure, why not? I can still unbox my own stuff, right? <laughs> um, and then it could be his loaner. So we are going to find out. The unboxing knife today is my new... CKF Satori 2.0 that I just got in yesterday. Um, I did the unboxing video on that. I'm not sure if that'll be live by the time this goes up, uh, but I absolutely am loving this thing. Initially, I, uh, I was a little bit uh, disappointed because it just felt a little awkward and small. Uh, and for a lefty, it can be a little awkward, but I kind of have figured out that I can spidey flick it, um, I can thumb flick it, and I can also use the flipper tab. So it's actually really, really cool. It drops shut. Um, so after a little bit of uh, playing with it, I really, really do like this knife. Um, so that is a good thing. And it slices through uh, thin paper or packaging very easily. <laughs> All right, so we have a package in a package. Okay, so let me get the old Satori out again. Cut that up. Is there another package? No. Okay, so this does look like it's going to be my stuff. Yeah, so, well, I guess it could be something else. We'll find out. So we have a ProTech box here. So I do have two ProTech Malibus. I have a blue one um, that I signed up for the email list on Blade HQ for the blue reverse Tonto. And I then got a black reverse Tonto uh, from PVK Vegas. And about a month later, a couple weeks later, I got a notification from Blade HQ that the blue was in stock. And I really liked the blue color. So I went ahead and bought that too. And it's been kind of cool because I have two and everybody wants to check this knife out because it's so popular right now. So I have one that I can kind of send out to people and then I have one to, you know, keep that I can actually carry and use. Uh, so that's been pretty cool. I, uh, I've been waiting to get this back though. I've contemplated selling it. Uh, there's so many people that want a Malibu and I kind of feel bad having two of them. Uh, I know that's kind of stupid, but, uh, you know, and I, you know, I could use the, uh, 200 or whatever dollars towards another knife, uh, that I could show off on the channel. So, uh, that's just kind of my thinking. I, I haven't decided yet. Um, uh, but here it is in the, uh, ProTech bag. Get that out. And here we go. This is the black version with, uh, a stonewashed blade. Uh, I know the first run had a satin blade, and I think the clip was uh, satin as well. I kind of like the stone wash better because it hides scratches and stuff. Um, I do still need to do my full review on the Malibu. I've been waiting for this one to come back and uh, other stuff in this package. So um, I can finally start doing my uh, best of 2020 knives and stuff like that. Um, so here it is. Um, just like I left her, beautiful knife. I love the blade on this. That revo reverse Tanto is just absolutely gorgeous. The 20 CV, uh, you got the button lock. This one does have a little bit of button stick, 
That was another reason I just went ahead and snagged another one when it came up. But I have learned since that you can clean the lock face, like where the where the blade meets the uh, the lock, you can clean that off and that tends to really help with the button stick. Um, and it will eventually wear a path or wear in and then it'll be fine. But, um, and this, I spoke to ProTech about this. So this is where I got the information. And it's just that, you know, 20 CV is a very strong steel and it takes a little bit for, for it to wear in. So um, it's not really like an issue or anything. Um, these were in the cold, so it'll take a little bit from the warm up, and then I'm sure this will be back to dropping. I mean, it, it's action is fantastic right now, anyway. So, oh man, having this back in hand makes me just want to keep it, you know, even though I have another one. <laughs> oh man. All right, next up, I sent him the uh, Asher Knives Silva. Now, Asher Knives is one of my favorite new knife companies of 2020, if not my favorite. Um, I also have spoken to Justin, who uh, runs Asher Knife Co., and uh, he's kind of become a buddy that I chat with on Instagram, um, and he's just a really cool dude, and um, I, I really love this design in particular, the Silva. Um, this knife really just nails it for me i mean the action is so good um it's it has a reversible clip you get s35 vn you get titanium handles um it is a stainless steel pocket clip but again it's reversible um, i do want to note something kind of funny i sent this knife to kyle from dtom knives and gear a while back he had it on his channel it was before i even had a channel and um, he pointed out something that I had never noticed before. But right here where the clip reverses, where it has that little filler tab, it kind of looks like a ball sack. <laughs> and it does. It looks just like a ball sack or uh, maybe like a butt. <laughs> it's kind of funny now that I'm looking at it uh, in person again. Oh, man. So I, I just love this knife. It's a great design. Uh, I don't think this knife will be leaving my collection. And I got this for $98. So I mean, S35VN, uh, titanium, really good ergos, a nice sharp blade, and it was 98 bucks. Uh, I don't think you can beat that. So I will be doing a video on Asher knives because I have a few and I have a couple more coming. Uh, so I'd like to kind of go through them because uh, I really do like the company. And last but not least, we have the Blade HQ exclusive Vox Dapper here. Um, this is a knife that I sought after for so long. Uh, it's such a little guy. Now that I've been into, now that I've been into uh, bigger knives. Uh, sorry, my, my laptop was going off there. Uh, now that I've been into bigger knives, this has, uh, this feels really small here. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, so I really wanted a Vox Dapper. And when they came out, it was pretty early in my collecting. And, and I wasn't comfortable just dishing out 150 bucks, you know, no problem. Um, so I didn't get one. And then in the summer, I just... I got very, very obsessed with getting one of these. Uh, I was trying to track them down on knife swap, couldn't find one because by then it had really dried up. Um, you know how a knife drops and then for a month or two after they're they're on knife swap or whatever. Um, so it had dried up at that point and I was looking on eBay. This was uh, back before I kind of learned that eBay is not the best place to shop for knives. Although I've had a good experience. I've gotten uh, a, a Lynch pry bar. I've gotten the Dapper. I've gotten some Pena knives. And I didn't get terrible pricing. So, um, but anyway, I did find this on eBay. And I ended up paying like $210. I, I was bidding for it. And I just got like obsessed. <laughs> And it was like my birthday, and I was like, I'm just gonna get the damn thing. So I, I bid 210 and I won the bid. And I don't even like 
natural micarta. I prefer either green micarta or I really want the carbon fiber version of this knife. So I have heard they're coming back soon. Um, so I'll probably sell this guy and then pick up a carbon fiber version. But just having this back in hand reminds me how much I love it. Um, ergonomically and everything, it's just such a good little knife. Uh, so I definitely want to have one in the collection going forward. Um, I just think I'd prefer carbon fiber. Although the feel of my car to not being slick or anything might be better in this case. So maybe I'll go for the, uh, I think it was a green micarta they had with like a brass backspacer that looks pretty cool. Um, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, having this back really kind of brings back some memories from the summer. So anyway, those are the knives that I got back from Mild Manor EDC. Big shout out to Brad. Um, your package made it, but uh, I'm still waiting on the other one. I'll let you know when that comes in. Um, and I will obviously show you guys. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening and I will catch up with you guys later.